Ohio Valley. Absolutely. We you went see, through a period where. Harry Hunsucker, eh? Hunsucker going to be the first to make it to the cage, though. Former Hard Rock MMA heavyweight champ. Went pro last year. Lost his first fight, but then came back with a first round rear naked choke in just 44 seconds over Kevin Powers. So now looking to move above 500 in his career. The voters have spoken on our Twitter poll. Who, which heavyweight's gonna win the co-main event? 50-50 down the middle. Yeah, this is one I don't think we'll need the judges' hands at for this fight. Nah. Hunsucker, both of his pro fights have ended in the first round. Dante Mays, just one decision through eight amateur fights. Hunsucker, a really good grappler. Throws with power on his feet. And likes to submit guys, which you don't see a lot from heavyweights. Absolutely. Has really, really good hips once he gets to the ground. He has that ability to kind of float, which is what a wrestler wants to do. He can kind of spin around his opponent. Keeps a good center of gravity. And he's got to be pumped up for this fight. It's a big fight. This is a fight long time coming. There's a lot of hype around surrounding Dante Mays, and I feel like Harry Hunsucker, even though he, there's a lot of hype surrounding him as an amateur, a lot of the pressure maybe is taken off of him in this fight. You know, his, his one pro loss, he took an opponent very, very short notice, like 24 hours short notice. Uh, right there in, uh, in Richmond, I think there's a lot of pressure behind that. Bounce back against Kevin Powers. There's a big crowd ovation from King Kong. And trust me when I tell you, this is a guy who is not just on the local MMA radar, but he's already on the national MMA radar as a heavyweight. There are guys who have pegged this guy as, as the next big thing in the heavyweight division. But if he wants to prove that he's the next big thing, he needs to get past Harry Hunsucker. The guy who had a lot of op a lot of options when he turned pro. Absolutely. Was offered This a is contract. not a fight that you If I'm Harry Hunsucker, this is not the fight that I'm jumping at right now. <laughs> Props to him for taking it. Props to Dante. He said he wanted to fight in our interview at bluegrassmma.com. He wanted Hunsucker as an amateur. Didn't work out. Now they're meeting as professionals. Right and as I mentioned, Dante Mays had options as a pro. Absolutely. Whether to go pro in boxing or MMA and said I, I chose my love for MMA, a former college basketball power forward. So you know he has some, you know, just tremendous power. His you don't movement. play that position, yeah. His movement, man, is so. His last amateur fight against Jerry Clore at Hard Rock 76. Ooh. Switch stances and knocked him out with a left hand. It was one of the prettiest left hands. Has just great boxing. He didn't even look to really break a sweat or breathe hard in that fight. Won three different titles as an amateur. Gary Copeland. No touch of the gloves. Definitely King Kong status over here hanging on to the fence. And Mays, even though he has a lot of power, fights. Ooh, Harry Hunter comes in with a big right hand off the mark, but showing he's not scared to interact. Leg kick there from Hunsucker. <laughs> you don't expect the heavyweight left to hook, do that. Nasty left hook there from Mays lands. But Hunsucker, the aggressor, coming right at Dante Mays, which a lot of opponents as an amateur did not do. A lot of them uh, kind of let hum, uh, Mays dictate the pace. Hunsucker not, not doing that yeah, early Hunsucker on Hunsucker very active. Hunsucker also the shorter guy, so he's going to need to be able to get inside. The very long arms, long lanky. Nice left hook there from Dante Mays. The cage moved when Harry Hunsucker just pushed Dante uh -huh. Mays. Into we might the, want to scoot back a little. 
Hunsucker now looking for the takedown up against the cage. Minute 15 gone here in the first round. Dante Almez with a big power Harry move. Harry Hunsucker hanging on to the single leg. They're testing the limits of this hard rock MMA cage here. Big right hand there. I think Dante Almez sees that Hunsucker might be hurt. Hunsucker. Hunsucker says, nah. Head kick from Hunsucker. Hunsucker now throwing wildly. He's got to watch. He might get caught here. Hunsucker's breathing heavy here. He's throwing a lot of power into those shots. Takes a lot out of you, especially a big heavyweight like Hunsucker. Hunsucker is. You see Dante Mays now just stalking. Throws a little jumping kick here. And Hunsucker. Caps the strikes. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, he looked to be complaining to the ref there. Maybe has an injury to his eye. He is couldn't busted breathe. open. Yeah, he couldn't breathe. Nevertheless, Harry. The new era of heavyweights is here. Dante Mays picking up the vicious victory here to move up to 1-0 and on his pro career. And he's a guy you don't see a lot of holes in his game. He didn't get frustrated at all. I'm going to see how they call this fight. It's like the uh, jaw or maybe injured of Hunsucker. Seems to be okay, though. Talking to the doctor here after the fight. Dante Mays looks like he knew what the outcome was before the fight even happened. Two minutes and 12 seconds of the very first round. Your winner, due to verbal submission due to strikes, Dante Kong Mays. Mays all business here.